Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a product manager with Arise, and I'm going to help you get started with LM tracing. LM tracing gives you a place to view individual traces and spans for how your application behaved, how long it took, what the inputs and outputs are, and where it went right or wrong to help you troubleshoot performance. So to start ingesting traces, you can follow our quick start guide here. Uh, we've built automatic instrumentation support for the most common large language models and frameworks, such as OpenAI, Langchain, Llama Index, and more. And our tracing is built on top of open telemetry and open inference, which maps OpenAI calls and other model provider calls to a standard set of tracing attributes and parameters. So if you'd like to customize how you do instrumentation, you can check out our docs here by clicking manual instrumentation uh, to get it specific to your application. But to get started in the simple case, first, all you need to do is install our tracing packages. Next, you need to get the API keys from the platform. Third is you need to copy paste some boilerplate code. And then fourth, you need to run your application. So to show you how to do this, let's go to code example. So here's the code example where I copy pasted a lot of that code. And this file does several things. The first is it imports all the libraries. So it imports OS for the environment variables, open AI to make the completion call, open telemetry SDK attributes as the boilerplate code. Using open telemetry, we're going to be providing a helper function to reduce the number of lines of code here. Uh, and then open inference is open AI instrumenter which actually detects the calls to OpenAI's chat completion endpoints and adds the relevant traces. So below here is where we actually add the space key and API keys to this header. So we know that when we're sending the traces to this URL, that it has the right authentication. Uh, here is how you set the name of the application that you're sending in. And then after all of this boilerplate, this is the instrumentation call. So then below we're using a chat completions call to write a haiku. So let's give it a shot. Here we, we wrote haiku, and now we can go back to the platform to go look for those chat completion calls. So here's an example of a haiku I wrote previously. And now in the Rise platform, you can see the application we created. You can click into it, and you can see the exact trace for the application. So it's really that simple. So every trace gets automatically added to Rise, And by doing so, you can start noticing patterns and behavior. So this one has commas. The one previously did not have commas. Uh, is that good? Is that bad? Could I get a better written haiku? What about latency over here? Uh, are there certain user messages, like write a haiku that does X, that, does be that do better than others? Or write a short haiku, or write a haiku that's punchy? So this is a pretty simple application. But what's great is that no matter how complex your application is, Arise will trace all the steps uh, in your LM workflow. So this is one of our demo models, which is a RAG-based retrieval augmented generation application where it's a Q&A bot on top of our docs. And then so when you click into one of these traces, you can actually see all the different steps, including embedding, the retrieval step for the documents, and the LM generation with the system message, user message, and output. And you can go directly to the prompt playground to try a new prompt and see if it improves the results. You can also view your data at a sessions level. So here's an example of, oh, here's the first message and the last message of a specific user session and you can actually trace the entire user journey within our application. Uh, so in our next video, we will show you how to run an evaluation so you can use LMs to judge the effectiveness of your prompts and do this across thousands of data points and sessions. Thanks.